I'm just making this quick video. Um, there's been some issues with these Parasol um, devices by IKEA. They're a window door sensor. Um, I've already done a bit of testing and I posted a video on Twitter already showing the current drawer of these devices and how randomly they won't um, go into a low power state when they first power up. If you remove the battery and put it back in, or in my case, I'm using bench power supply where you actually stop and start the, or the power, um, like turn it off and on. Um, it'll sometimes go into a low power state. It'll wake up, flash its little LED, and then go to sleep, as they should do. But more often than not, they don't. They actually stay there drawing about 17, 18 milliamp continuously, even though they're designed to be powered just off a single AAA battery. So there's a lot of debate and conversation that goes on um, in groups about these devices and other IKEA devices stating that you must use the IKEA rechargeable batteries and that the alkalines at 1.5 volt is too high and they don't work properly. Well, I'm here to dispute that. I'm sure a lot of my followers will know that that's garbage information to begin with because they know a bit of electronics. But um, for those that don't, let me explain what's going on here. So this is, these are the guts of the device. And if we have a look closely here, I'll show you the rest of this setup in a second. But if we have a look closely here, there are three components here, main ones, but there's a couple of note. This one here, if it'll focus on the circuit board, sorry, hold on. This guy here is an inductor, and this will be a MOSFET. This is probably another MOSFET, but it might be a diode. It's hard to tell at this size. This is probably a diode on here somewhere, but these, these few components just here form what's called a buck boost DC to DC power supply. What this is doing is converting the 1.5 volt input from the battery to the voltage that we need for the microcontroller to operate. That graph you see running on the screen is live. We're measuring the battery voltage that I'm providing from the benchtop power supply, which at the moment is set to 1.5 volt. Oh, sorry, it's not even 1.5 volt. It's actually set to 0.6 volt. Um, and you can see that the power supply on the little board is stepping that up because I'm measuring that that second brown line is connected to the VCC line, the output of that buck boost where it feeds the microcontroller. It's outputting 2.2 volt. If it mattered your battery type, what you put in, as they went flat, the microcontroller would stop working. So let's push that voltage up. We're going to push it up to uh, over here. I'm going to push the voltage up to 1.5 volt slowly, as slow as I can on this little knob it's a bit dinky and hard to control but let's see how we go so i'll start increasing that you notice that the bottom line the vcc is stable at 2.2 volt if i continue to increase this right we're now what 1.25 ish volt you can see we're still at 2.2 volt if we continue to increase that to what a fully charged alkaline is at 1.5 volt we're still sitting at 2.2 volt there's a bit of noise there as it increases. If we continue to increase the voltage beyond the specification of 1.5 up to 1.6 or even 2, that gets worse. But it's still not enough to cause the microcontroller to have problems or reset or do anything weird. If it did, we would see the LED on the front of the device continually flash as it went through reboot loops as it reset itself. It's pretty, <laughs> pretty hard to say that using a... 1.2 volt battery versus a 1.5 volt battery makes a difference here. I believe this is IKEA support staff, perhaps uh, uneducated or repeating nonsense that they've learned from someone else. Because what we've found through testing of these is if you power them up, sometimes they'll power up properly and just work and go to sleep properly. But other times they'll power up and just continually pull 17, 18 milliamp, which will flatten the battery in about Oh, let, let's say it's a double A. Double A is a three million, a three amp hour, so three thousand milliamp hour. A three thousand milliamp hour that'll flatten it in about one hundred and fifty hours. These are triple A's, so it's going to be way less than that. Um, clearly, it's not drawing that all the time because you're getting a couple of weeks out of them. Um, but it's way more than it should be. When they operate properly, though, they drop down to only drawing a few microamps. That will last six, eight, twelve months, maybe even. There's a fault in the firmware in these devices that's stopping them going to sleep. And IKEA need to fix this. It's got nothing to do with the type of battery you put in an alkaline or rechargeable. Doesn't matter what brand, they all output the same voltages between 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, 1.8, 1.9, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20,
like fully charged, uh, 1.2 fully charged for a rechargeable, and they all go flat the same way. They all go through this discharge curve, which is why that circuit needs to be in there to deal with batteries as they go flat. Because if you stop using the power in the battery uh, early because it dropped below 1.2 volt, you would be leaving a lot of capacity in the battery and you'd get almost no life out of them. So hopefully that clears things up and people will stop parroting this um, ridiculous notion that putting rechargeables in these things fixes the problem because it has nothing to do with it.